Hello and welcome to the third and final installment of the individual Voyager reviews. I don't know. I film these one after each other, so for me it's like doing a massive Q Ranger marathon. But this is um, the Q Tamagatai series number 08 DX Washi Voyager. Um, so let's take a look at the packaging. It's a bit different to Tenbin and Hibitsukai because it's not a freaking robot. So on the front we've got the Washi Voyager, you've got the Washi Kutami, you've got Washi Pink, you've got Washi Pink up here, um, Washi Voyager, you've got the Kirano with Washi Voyager there, you've got the Washi Voyager in case you've been like, oh shit, I was meant to get Kirano, but I didn't. You've got um, Raptor, Washi Pink, I don't know. I don't know if I should call the characters by their names in the show or just the Ranger names, whatever. The Kutama doing this, and you've got the Kutama attaching you, but there, you've got it there, it can become this, 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 and you've got more money, and you've got that, plus the expensive gun toy, and then you've got Washi Pink doing something, and then you've got that and that, and it's like, that, that's really it, there's no, like, it's a bit weird, um, I'm not gonna steal Emgo's joke, so let, let's get out of here. Again, the box is just kind of bland, except for, like, the main DX toys, like, the main robot, like, the mecha to toys have got really cool boxes, but... Whatever. This is the Washi q which I really like the color of. I really like this pink. It's a bit weird because this is like my favorite color low-key. But, um, you've got this and you've got the sign and it's like, whoa, what the hell is that? This is actually another one where it's like, you kind of don't know if the beak wasn't there. You wouldn't really know what it is. Um, number 08. It's really weird. The individual releases, uh, with the exception of the Kuma Voyager, are all even numbers. Like, if you bought... Uh, Sasori was 2, 10 minutes 4, Hibitsukai is 6, this is 8, and Kuma... It, oh, and I guess Ryu Voyager is also 10, but then you've got Kuma, which is 11, so it ruins everything. Then you've got the Cerebus Voyager, which is 111. Yeah, I'm, I, might, I might get that, I don't know. Uh, enough about ranting, Let, let's just get into the thing. So you, you rotate this, and it becomes a full-on... I don't want to say Phoenix, because it's not a Phoenix, because that's what ho -Oh, the ho -Oh q -Tamer is. It's like a... Just an eagle, I guess? Yeah, an eagle. Um, let me bring out my handy dandy torch. Um, actually, before I get into that, the discoloration on this one isn't like there. I mentioned in Hebitsuko's video that the Kutama like, coloring is like, it's darker on the side that flips. It, I mean, it is there, but it's not as noticeable because it's just all pink. But, and you've got. Raptor sitting in the cockpit there. Pretty standard. I really do like the Q-Timer and how they've actually got the little ranger imprinted. I think that's actually a really cool idea. Um, so let's get let's attach the Q-Timer and do it the right way. Uh, and get into the Washi Voyager itself, because it is nowhere near as like complex and articulated as Denmin and Habitsky, so it's quite nice. I actually really dig it. Uh, this is like another Sentai thing where the pink rangers mech is like not pink, it's more black with pink accents, but it actually works in this case, unlike Shinkendra where it's just like one thing is painted, and Gosaja where it's white. And this actually does work. Um, I really do like the pink accents on this thing, I really like the pink on this. Um, the feathers have got really nice detailing. Deta detailing? Uh, it's got really nice details, like look, look at that. All individually like that. Um, other side is the same. Uh, even the little like what is this, Mohawk? I don't want to say that's a Mohawk, but, um, very nicely detailed thing. Uh, I believe those are stickers. Oh, that is paint, I think. Hang on. Let's not take out the camera. No, the eyes are actually painted in, I think, so that's actually really nice. Um, mouth opens up like that. Uh, the feet. Very nice detailing, really, really nice feathering, feathering, um, again that weird one-sided paint which is Q-Ranger's thing, um, the q timer on the back just kind of sits there. Um, the wings, articulation in this is pretty limited, the wings just go all the way around, they flap all the way out, all the way up. Like, yeah, there's just not a lot to talk about in terms of articulation, so... Um, the, the head can sort of go up, but it's for transformation, like, does the, you can do that and just locks in there, so... Not a lot for articulation, so let's get this thing combined.
And here is Kirano. Kirano? Kirano? I, I don't know. It's really, really weird. Um, with no arm, so getting ready to combine. So all you have to do, the instructions, all like the default arm formation is just not this. It's just this. You don't actually do anything to the Washi Voyager. You just attach it. Like that. That that's it. That's the entire arm. Like it's pretty. It's, yeah, <laughs> pretty cool arm. I do dig it. Um, you can of course play around with it. So you can have like one side rotated and be like a battle axe, or you can have both sides rotated so it's like a bow. I actually thought it was like this because like it's a bow. Or you can of course do some stuff where you like fold in the wings. You can play around with the wings and have like some cool blade type thing. I don't know what I'm trying to do. You can do something like that where it's like a cool blade thing. I like to do that because I think that looks really sick, but um, that's not actually official, but yeah, the, all, the, all you have to do to get this thing ready for arm mode is to attach it. That's, that's, that's literally it. So, yeah. Uh, the pink looks pretty good as a cute armor thing. I, I just really like the pink on this thing. Um, arm mode, it's pretty decent. So, not much to say. Um, yeah, that's about it. Before I put it on Ryu Teo, I'll just do the leg formation and then I'll do Ryu Teo as the conclusion type thing. But to put this thing into leg mode, there's a little tab up there and a little peg in there. And they clip together, that's it. You fold the wings back and then click them up one end. This PC actually like stops them from going any further. And then you just rotate this. Take Kirano, attach it as that, and you've got Washi Voyager as a leg. And I actually really like the Washi Voyager as a leg. I think it looks really snazzy. Snazzy? I don't know. Like, it, it, it's not as bulky as, like, Kuma, Okami, or Oshi, but they actually, it actually looks really nice, in my opinion. I, I really do dig that. Like, it's, like, sleek and then bulky, and it works, and, like... The pink accents just work. The wings don't stick back too far, so they are manageable. Of course, you can play with the wings and have them like stick out like that if you really want, but I, I don't recommend it. But, yeah, not much to say. Just a cool looking leg. When putting um, Washi on Ryuteo, I completely forgot you can actually do this. It's pretty weird, but you can do it. Before I get into the con before I get into the conclusion, um, this is what it looks like on Ryu Teo. Um, no difference, just type, it looks pretty nice. That color scheme looks really nice. And yeah, now we move on to the conclusion. Wow, that was a really good segue. Um, like the other individual voyages, I really can't recommend this unless you really like the Washi Voyager, you really like Raptor, you really like. The Q-Ranger line. Like, I only got this because like it completes the Q-Ranger line, and I think it looks really snazzy. I really do dig the the whole Washi Voyager. Like it, I think the pink looks really good. Um, so yeah, it's kind of like the my recommendation is basically the same for Tenmin and Habitskai, except this does a little bit less because it's not a full-on robot. Um, like at least uh, like Habitskai is like a snake that turns into a robot type thing and. So it's a bit easier to recommend those, whereas this is just like a phoenix, not a phoenix, so an eagle. But anyway, so yeah, my conclusion is get it if you wanted to complete the Q Ranger line like I did, and if you just like the show. So anyway, guys, that about wraps it up um, for this video. Uh, if you did like this video, please like it, um, comment with any feedback, I guess. I don't know. Uh, and if you really did love the video, please subscribe. It does mean a lot to me, and it shows that you guys do like these videos. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.